Hello, yes, Hope Not Hate and Searchlight Magazine should now be redundant. That's right. Given I first exposed them and their modus operandi and their spies back in 2009, when Peter Malloy, Liverpool BNP organiser, called for a rally in support of Nick Griffin's 2009 uh, Euro election, where they were going to hand leaflets out in Liverpool's city centre. And it just coincidentally landed on the same day Everton were playing Stoke in uh, Liverpool. Uh, that day, the 9th of March, was it? 2009. And the police kindly accommodated the BMP because they said they couldn't uh, police both events. Moved the Everton and Stoke game to the next day on the Sunday, which I'm sure would have infuriated both Everton and Stoke fans, had it not been thwarted by myself, had I not seen right through what was happening, I brought this to the attention of Nick Griffin, and not prepared to risk pennies and pounds, and fuck it up like he did in 204, he called off the rally, so hope not hate sabotage was thwarted by yours truly. And then a year or so later, maybe, or maybe not even that long, we had Peter Cheney, and his continual arrest and hounding by armed police, not just police, armed police, just for handing leaflets out. I seen right through that. And the rest all just fell like dominoes. You can see them all. Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, Dawn Charlton, known as Butch Dawn, uh, Mike Whitby, and many, many others. I spotted them, exposed them, and routed them. Yet, hope not hate and say it, like, are still pulling the same stunt tricks with the same spies adam walker's still in control of the bmp mike whitby still late god knows where Tony is or pizza malloy there's others that are still at it right so what in the bleeding world has happened they should them two outfits should now be redundant what's nick griffin said about it all well nothing he said he was one or two spies, at least two, that's right, at least two took over the BMP. Christ, add another ten onto that at least, right? So, after me exposing all these dogs and rats and whatever, what's happened? Well, nothing. Some of them are still blatantly doing what they did when I first exposed them. And what's our side done about it? Nothing. They've all, you're either all dafted and I think, probably dafted Nick Griffin, or you're cowards, or maybe you don't believe it, maybe, maybe you really do believe the genuine patriots and I've got it all wrong. So hope not hate, Nick Lowe's, Jerry Gable, Sizzler Magazine, them two outfits and them individuals should be redundant now, but they're not. And it's breathtaking, this. See, also what they're doing as well, to keep the pantomime and circus going, there's new characters being introduced all the time. Millennial woes. He had a big spate where he was like the centre of attention, being persecuted, but he's another one working for Hope Not Hate. Now we've got Sargon of Akkad, of uh, Lord of the Rings fame. We've got Count Dankula and many, many others now that are just, what they do, they just replace the old ones. The old ones, some of them, most of them, are still there, like I've said, but they're not as active in their disruption. So they've produced new ones, Count Dankula, uh, on Akkad and many, many others. And they're just doing it in a different way, but with the same ends, which sabotage and to demonise, comicalise and criminalise uh, the movement and the anti-immigrants, Islamic uh, cause message, whatever. And they're still doing it. What's Nick Griffin saying about it? Nothing. And given we're in this mess, Nick, because of you, because you never listened, because you're too thick, drunk on ego, pennies and pounds, I don't know, we're in this mess because of you and your silence about it all, right? In fact, you, sometimes you go along with them like uh, Tommy Robinson, your best mate, or someone else, uh, Paul Golding, right? It's another one. So them two outfits, them two individuals should be redundant now, but they're not because our side is cowardly, thick, doesn't care. I, I don't know. I don't know what or the reason why they are still up and running them outfits. They should have been wound up years ago right because it's so obvious what they're doing you must be able to see it but no one is raising a voice or putting pen to paper well on the internet you know what i mean microsoft word should i say i'm putting it on the internet no one's doing anything are they no do you believe the spies nick griffin adam walker clive jefferson 
Well, are you going to say anything? Do anything about it? No. And like I've said, and I'll repeat myself, we're in this mess because of you. No one else, only you. Right? Because you didn't care. You'd use the BMP as a career move. There's no more pennies and pounds and so. You've reinvented this bollocks now, Reconquista, right? To pacify all the dafties and redeem yourself. Well, it doesn't fool me or get past me, right? And also, praising more like patronising me in Jack Sen's podcast. Won't stop me criticising you in videos because you deserve to be criticised. Because like I've said, and I'll say it again, we're in this mess because of you. Not me, Richard Edmonds, or the late great John Tyndall. We're in this because of you. And you know we are. So why in the world is Hope Not Hate Nick Lowe's Jenny Gables Searchlight magazine still up and running and pulling the same stunts and tricks? It is breathtaking this. Our side is allowing them to get away with what they're doing. When we know the modus operandi, we know their agents, so... Why aren't we closing them down? Well, exactly. Like I've said, they um, bring new characters into the equation every now and then, the latest batch being Count Dankula. And uh, so I've got a big cat of Lord of the Rings fame. <laughs> okay, thank you.